What's up guys? We're taking it back to the old school, back to the days of unboxing. Unboxings are nowhere near as popular as they once were, but in my opinion, they're still a bunch of fun. As you guys can see, Adidas sent over a bunch of crazy stuff. Now, I don't know exactly what's inside any of these boxes, I just know there's a lot of boxes and a bucket. So in today's video, I figured it'd be fun to go back to doing what we used to do back on the channel, back in like 2018, 2019, even 2016, and unbox some crazy packages from some dope brands. And you know what, I love making my newer style of content with like the 3D printing and the $20 sneaker collection and some of the top 10 lists and things like that, but nothing beats a good unboxing. And today's unboxing is going to be crazy. I haven't looked inside any of this stuff, even though I wanted to, because this is a bucket and in theory it should be pretty easy to open. I'm just excited about this. This is the first time in a long time that a brand has sent me this much stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below if you missed these kind of unboxing videos. I feel like in sneaker YouTube, they just haven't been around. I don't know why that is, but uh, I feel like I miss it. I feel like I want to go back to the good old days and uh, show you guys some cool stuff inside boxes. <laughs> but first off, huge thank you to Adidas for sending over all this awesome stuff. They've always been looking out for me. I just have no clue what this could be because, I mean, what? What's P? I don't know what P is, but we'll find out. I've never gotten a pair of shoes inside a bucket before. I've gotten shoes in a lot of other things, but never a bucket. In fact, that TV right back there is actually an Adidas promo package that was sent over two years ago, three years ago. So I've gotten TVs. I've gotten bins, I've gotten glass cases, I've gotten ice boxes, but I've never gotten a bucket. And while a blue bucket might not be as exciting as something like a box made out of ice, I'm still really excited to pop the top in the sky and see what we've got. It's been a minute since I've said that. So inside this bucket, we've got a lot of stuff. First things first, some sort of bag. This is a, oh nice, filthy, it's a filthy collaboration. Oh, that's dope. So Filthy has blown up over the last couple years because of his crazy sneaker customizations. And so it makes sense that we're grabbing sort of a, a paint kit. You've got the paint stirrer with uh, the Adidas logo and the Filthy logo right there. I don't know how I didn't recognize this logo. I guess I just don't know Filthy's logo. Looks like you've got a flat sort of construction style pencil. You've got a, a tong. Pretty cool. I don't, not sure what you do with the tong maybe. Oh, you know what? Probably for dip dyeing shoes or things like that. I don't know. What's this? This is a, so this is actually sandpaper for sanding down different details of a shoe, probably like denim, things like that to kind of get that sort of rough edge. Yo, huge shout out to Adidas. Congratulations to Filthy for getting your own collaboration. That's sick. At least I'm presuming that's what it is. I don't actually know for sure yet until we see the shoe, but this is a really sick sort of paintbrush holder. Next up inside the box, we've got, this. We've got some thread. What else do we have? We've got, oh, the lid to the thread container. The sewing box of buttons. We've got, oh wow, Rit dye. You can obviously use this to dye your, your sneakers or pretty much whatever you want. Rit dye is pretty incredible. Now this is obviously Adidas and Filthy branded Rit dye, which is pretty cool. Let's see what colors we got. We've got, looks like some sort of brownish green and a, or is that black? No, it's a brown. And then we've got blue, some more Rit dye and some needles. We've got some gloves, we've got some light green writ dye and some dark green writ dye. And then we've got a card with an instruction manual. It says, dyeing your own shirt. Oh, this bucket is for dyeing your own shirt. That's crazy. This is a crazy package. Huge shout out to Adidas and Filthy for putting together this really well thought out package. This is amazing. Here's the shirt. So you've got this filthy Adidas shirt right here. It's not filthy, it's actually pretty clean. <laughs> Mm, should have kept that to myself. You've got all the stuff that you got inside the package on the back of the shirt, which is really cool. And then you've also got the dyeing instructions. So we can actually dye this shirt in this bucket. And then we can also do embroidery and patchwork on this shirt, which is super cool. This is sick. I'm not actually gonna dye the shirt right now. I feel like that's a, it's a weekend project, but huge thank you to Adidas. Shout out to Filthy for getting his own collaboration. That's so sick, that's filthy. But now finally, let's get to the shoes themselves. So I haven't actually seen the Filthy collaboration. I haven't been on like sneaker websites recently just cause I've been traveling and things like that. So I don't know what this looks like, but based on the bag, it does seem like it's an NMDS one. One of the newer Adidas silhouettes. It's actually still pretty difficult to get. You can't really walk into a store and grab them. That's sick. So we've got the filthy Adidas NMDS one, which I've got to say, after wearing a couple pairs of NMDS ones a lot, I, I rock this shoe a good amount. This is probably one of the most comfortable Adidas shoes out there. Wow, the laces are crazy. They kind of look like they're, um, I've never seen laces like this, actually. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but these laces are insane. They kind of look like patchwork laces or something. But yeah, this shoe is insanely comfortable, mainly because of the, the prime knit upper and also this crazy thick boost midsole. But the colorway on this shoe is pretty wild. So you've got a bluish gray accented by this sort of like light tan color. Actually, the same color as the table. But this is definitely one of the wilder NMDS ones. I love the gum outsole. I think that's awesome. You've got this very premium feeling plastic shoe tree right here that comes in white with the 
NMVS1 branding on it. That's awesome. I actually will throw this on foot so you guys will probably see some on foot footage of this shoe right now. But the Adidas and Filthy absolutely knocked this shoe out of the park. I'm a sucker for gum outsoles. I know it's stupid, but I love them. I think they're sick. Yeah, great looking sneaker overall. Let me check the release information on this shoe because I'm not sure. Okay, hold up. So this shoe dropped officially on Filthy's web store. It's sold out and it's officially dropping on Adidas' website on November 30th. So if you guys want to grab these, you still have a chance to grab these. They're sold out on Filthy's website, but you can grab them on Adidas' website for 220 bucks. Unfortunately, you're not going to be getting this crazy packaging, but you will be getting the shoes, which are pretty filthy. I keep trying it, but it just never works. According to this article, this shoe is based off of Filthy's Wabi Sabi aesthetic and unique take on upcycling, an ethos he's brought to his new NMD S1 collaboration. Great looking sneaker. It kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that Sean Watherspoon has done, um, especially with Adidas, like using that sort of upcycled look. Probably one of the most unique looking NMD S1s I've ever seen. So shout out to Filthy, shout out to Adidas. Thank you guys so much for sending this over. I will probably dye this shirt and maybe try some cool stuff with that Rit dye. So if you guys want to check that out, check out my TikTok, my Instagram, and well, that's pretty much it. Check out my TikTok and Instagram at real Seth Fowler on both. I'll leave a link to both of those in the description below. I'm starting to post a lot of TikToks, a lot of Instagram reels and things like that. So if you guys follow me, that would be awesome. I'm also doing some giveaways soon, so stay tuned for that. But first unboxing out of the way, now let's get into the second unboxing. <laughs> so there's two boxes. I believe they're both part of the same package. I'm not sure what this is. Well, it actually says, ex okay, it says what it is on the side. Um, now that I know what it is, I'm excited about this because this is crazy if this is actually what it says. There is a collaboration coming from Adidas and Ramoa that is dropping or either just dropped on their website like yesterday or the day before. And I've got to say, it was a crazy pair of sneakers, but it looks like we did get the pair of sneakers in that other box, but we also got something insane in this box. Okay, well, I completely missed. I have no idea where the actual scene is for this box. I can't believe I've done this. There we go. Inside this box, we've got another box, it looks like. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what to expect. I'm kind of hoping it's some sort of Ramoa thing, but I'm not sure. It looks like it might be. I'm so excited. I have nothing Ramoa. This is so sick. I've always wanted something Ramoa, but I've never owned anything Ramoa. So this is crazy. Let's see it. This is definitely a Ramoa thing. I don't know exactly what this is. It seems smaller than a standard uh, piece of their carry-on luggage. I'm not sure. If you guys aren't familiar with Ramoa, they're a German luxury luggage company. They make some pretty insane stuff. Look at this. What is this? This is a backpack. I didn't even know they made backpacks. This is absolutely insane. It's got its backpack straps on the back. Wow, so this is a co-branded Adidas Ramoa backpack. And look at these straps. It looks very utilitarian, like it's uh, for hiking or, uh, you know, taking on the outdoors or even just kind of, you know, going around the city, whatever you do with your backpack. This is also a hard shell metal. So this is a very, very durable looking backpack as well. It says Ramoa Adidas on it. Same thing on the back. You've got these sort of, uh, I guess, back pads right here that are made of foam. And then on the top, you've actually got Ramoa's logo right there. And then also, um, it seems like a locking mechanism. That's pretty wild. Do I, there we go. Oh, that's crazy. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this before. So this is a luggage tag that came with it. That's nuts. Wow, so inside the backpack, you've got the Adidas logo in there, which you guys probably can't see. It looks like there is a laptop sleeve in here. If you put your laptop in here, it's probably safe. <laughs> that's crazy. Let me um actually try it on. Yo, George, check this out. What is that? It's a backpack from Ramoa. You know Ramoa, the luggage company? Guess how much this backpack costs? Um, a grand. $1,500. Woo! It's pretty legit. That looks sick. Definitely fit under the seat in first class. <laughs> For real though, this backpack is absolutely insane. It looks great. That's crazy. Huge thank you to Ramo and Adidas for sending this over. This is insane. Really quick though, before we get into the unboxing of the pair of shoes that goes along with this backpack, let me first tell you about something else that you guys can grab that will make your life so much easier, more comfortable, better looking, and overall, just a better experience. That's a lot of hyping for a set of socks. These are incredible socks. They're from my sock brand, Apothecary. We're dropping a brand new collection on Black Friday. The Motif Collection, it comes in four fire colorways. You've got this blue and white colorway, which looks incredible with the red Apothecary logo. You've got this pink colorway right here, which looks awesome. You've got this black, red, and white colorway, which is actually very similar to the first colorway of socks we ever dropped. And then, of course, this black and green colorway, which is also very, very fire. You guys can grab all of these socks on our website, apothecary.com, on Black Friday. And actually, if you guys want to get in on the Black 
Black Friday deals early, you can actually go to our website right now and grab our mystery box for $100, which includes 10 pairs of socks. They're all $5 off. You get 10 pairs of mystery socks, some of which are from previous collections, some of which are from collections that will never drop, and some of which are from sold out collaborations. So if you guys want to grab 10 pairs of Apothecary socks for $100, which is an insane deal, make sure to check out Apothecary.com through that link in the description below. Not only that, a couple of these boxes will come with golden tickets that include hats or hoodies or shirts or maybe even pairs of sneakers. So if you guys want to grab any of the mystery boxes or maybe even these Black Friday socks when they officially release on Black Friday, make sure to click the link in the top of the description below. Check out apothecary.com. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. This brand has been a passion project of mine, one that I think uh, can probably outlive this YouTube channel and something that I just, I'm so excited about creating stuff for and content for and things like that. So if you guys want to support me and support my brand, make sure to check out that link below. If not, let's move on to the rest of the video. Also, I'm not going to be mad if you don't want to support the brand. That's totally cool. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. Let's move on to the final unboxing. I think we've got the pair of shoes that goes along with the suitcase. Not 100% sure until we open the box when I find my knife that I've been using the entire video and just for some reason lost right now. I guess we'll just rip off the tape. <laughs> that was actually pretty easy. We should have just done that from the start. We've got... Yep, it's the pair of shoes. So inside the box, we've got the Adidas. We've got the Adidas Ramoa NMD S1, a pair of shoes that I actually have not seen in person yet. I've only heard about through like press releases and things like that, but I didn't want to look at pictures of them because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Same way I didn't even know that backpack was involved. So first thing inside the box, we've got this crazy Ramoa Adidas, you know, card thing that says, well, it's just got coordinates probably to Germany because that's where both companies are based. You've got some extra sets of laces right here and then, You've got the shoes themselves, or at least one of the shoes. Is the other one under here? Here we go. I've got to say, though, that Adidas NMDS1 boxes are crazy. They feel just insanely premium, like designer shoes. I mean, you are paying 225 bucks for them, so they're not cheap, but at the same time, that's what you pay for like most other shoes nowadays, so it's not even expensive, so I don't know. But seriously, every time I unbox a pair of NMDS1s, I'm blown away by just like the quality of the materials used, especially this dust bag. Like, this seems like a really nice white suede with Ramoa and Adidas' logo right there on it. So I'm always blown away. So if you guys want a high quality pair of shoes, check out the NMDS1. But the shoes from this collaboration look like, you guys ready for this? This. I really love the way that these look. They come with the same coordinates. I probably should look those up. Ah, okay, so it is coordinates to Germany. It's coordinates to Ramoa's, I believe their design center or their uh, headquarters, which would make sense. So you've got those on the medial side of the shoe right there. Let's pull up the other shoe really quickly. Obviously it'll look the same as this one, or at least I'm assuming that it will, but it's nice to see both of them together. So here they are, the Adidas Ramoa NMD S1s in this really nice sort of like, it's like a very light sort of marshy green color. I don't know what to call it, but it's very nice. It's a washed out green. It comes with this really bright orange accent there, which I love. And then of course this sort of creamy tan midsole, which looks amazing. I love this colorway. This colorway is absolutely sick. And of course, as you probably could have guessed, it matches with the backpack from the set. I wouldn't be surprised if this backpack can actually hold the shoes too. I mean, it's definitely thick enough. Yeah, absolutely can hold the shoes. I also love how the laces or the color of the laces ties in really nicely with the color of the strap right here or this like, um, I guess really thick rope right here. I love the orange accents. They say made in Germany on the sock liner of the shoe. Obviously both companies are from Germany so the collaboration made sense in a lot of different ways. One, they're both higher end brands and two, they're both German based and three, they both have really great design senses, so that's pretty cool to see. Another detail that I really love is the suede accent right here with the Adidas Trefoil logo on the left shoe in orange, and then of course the Ramoa logo right there on the right shoe. You can also see that this area right here is semi-translucent, so you can see through to whatever is underneath, like for example, a pair of Apothecary socks. If you decide to grab a pair of Apothecary socks, you can rock them with your NMDS ones. These shoes are awesome, and again, they're super comfortable underfoot because you've got this super soft boost midsole, which feels great. You've got this prime knit upper, and then this semi-translucent area is actually made up of this thin plastic mesh which lets a lot of air through so you get a lot of breathability and crazily enough I know there's a little bit of hype behind this shoe so this might be the hype talking but I really really love this colorway this might be my favorite NMDS1 colorway I love sort of like washed out greens especially accented by this orange obviously you guys are seeing b-roll shots of this shoe on feet I haven't filmed that yet but um, I can tell you that I'm probably gonna love the way these shoes look on foot just because I have pairs of NMDS ones. I know what they look like on foot, but this colorway is very, very clean. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of all the things that we unboxed in today's video, whether it's the NMDS ones in this Ramoa colorway, whether it's the backpack, or even the Filthy Collaboration, one of the most insane collaboration packages I've ever gotten. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram, at Fowler, and I will see you all in the next one.